Daily Diary, day 359. So the previous days were pretty much frustrating because on TVS I've been losing tons of money. So I had to go back and start planning on how am I gonna make money again. And whilst I've been already exploring a couple of money making methods, I wanted to come up with something new, something fresh, something that I didn't do before. My very first idea was to hop onto YouTube and check out what others are doing to get money in the game. So I found my friend Yusef being alive and he was crushing armory, folding enemies, basically with ease. He was even leaving stuff behind, all kind of fancy valuable stuff, because he doesn't have any free space in his bag. Which is literally crazy, like people are struggling to get like loot and Yusef is leaving stuff behind because he doesn't have space. I was thinking to replicate what Yusef is doing, basically dressing up into T5 and then hopping into armory. And then I quickly reminded myself that Shady, you are just Shady, you are not Yusef and you don't have the godlike skills. So I had to come up with a different idea and this idea was the SRJ310, the shotgun. I was approaching this problem, this money problem from a different angle. So basically in order not to lose any more money, the best is if I don't risk any money. And with this SRJ310, I'm actually not risking anything. The idea is almost a brain dead idea. It's such a stupid thing to do in Arena Breakout. But hey, if this is what works for me, then I guess it works for others as well who are reading this diary. So I was equipping my SRJ310 with leg meta ammunition and I had it to farm. And the idea was to rush the motel and then extract with backpack or without backpack. During the games I played, it didn't actually matter if I meet enemy players or not. If I meet them, I challenge them. If I die, I don't care because I'm risking only 3000 coin. No, I'm lying. I'm approximately risking 10,000 coin per game because the shotgun costs approximately 2000, my lucky retro helmet another 2000, the ammunition approximately 4 5000 and very basic med kits 1000 coin. I was playing with one liquid painkiller, one bandage, one small med kit and then no armor, no backpack, no rig, nothing. Since I don't care about my extraction rate, I was even pushing myself into fights where I knew that I don't have too much chance and even though I died in multiple cases, at least I tried and I always had something in my composite case. A key, a scope, a yellow item, something that always brought me at least 30,000, 50,000. So I was just waiting for that game where I can do a bit more money. And at the end of the day, I had multiple games where I could successfully extract with 100,000, with 200,000, even up to 400,000, where I killed a full squad alone one by one. And the idea is to first kill a bot, then pick up the basic armor and the gun. And with that, kill the first enemy player, then pick up his stuff and then use his gun to kill his teammates or other players. So that's what I was doing and I'm happy to see that we still have Timmy's carrying 100k RPKs in normal form. Thank you for that, sir. Overall, by playing approximately 10, 15 games like this, I made more than a million. So it's just a matter of dedication and grinding. If you want to have more money, then play more games. Because with this strategy, you're just going to keep doing money. You're not going to lose money because there's nothing to be lost. And I'm happy to see that my storage value is above 10 million again with this brain dead money making strategy. A message to everybody who is reading this chapter of my diary. Don't be shy to pick up that trash shotgun and put this stupid money-making strategy into action. It works.